Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. So I want to know how time started. You can, one simplistic way of saying this is that, okay, it's from the Big Bang, you know. But it's really, it, it, that's really saying nothing. Okay, we know so little about the Big Bang, number one. The other aspect to this question is whose time? Your time, my time, if you're sitting on, you know, your local time or my local time, if you're sitting on your galaxy, your watch measures a different time than my time. So it's a question that's more philosophical than anything else. And uh, some of these answers that Ramana has been saying about, well, the universe used to expand slower earlier on. Uh, you always have to uh, wonder about, well, whose time does this refer to? Presumably everyone's time. Everyone should agree on this fact that the universe was uh, expanding but uh, frankly, I hope that's true because we don't have any other vantage point. We only have we on the earth. Okay. I think all that physics tries to say is no matter which time you use, that your loss of physics must be consistent within that framework of time and space that you use. I think that's the only thing that we really know about. Time in other places, other universes, other big bangs are all really speculative about the nature of it. So you told that the universe is expanding continuously and never going to end. So will time ever get over? I think we already discussed about the philosophy of defining time. I, I, I don't think it's really an issue of, uh, of, of physics discussion at this level. Yeah. What is the space-time continuum? Uh, it's pretty much what we just discussed right now. Okay, The fact that time is to be treated on an equal footing as space of course, it doesn't have the same dimension. You have to multiply the speed of light with it. Okay, then it, the dimensions are the same as so. So, time and space are completely equivalent. You have to treat them on an equal footing if you have to explain several observational phenomena. So, so is the theory that if we travel faster than time, uh, faster than speed of light, we will be able to go back into time a speculation? It's a speculation. Yes. Thank you. What is referred to as a nebula? Nebula means a cloud in Latin, Latin I think, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just a, what looks like a cloud in the sky. It's made up of gas. It could be a cloud in our sky, which consists of a gas, a water vapor gas. It could be uh, in outer space, it can consist of hydrogen gas. It can also consist of carbon monoxide. It can consist of helium. It can consist of many other gases. Nebula just means a cloud. What are pulsars? Pulsars are uh, stars which went through the supernova phase, left behind a very compact object, not as dense as a black hole, but made up of neutrons. And uh, there are a lot of physics associated with it, but these are essentially neutron stars which are rotating very rapidly and they are emitting uh, what looks like pulses of light as seen from Earth. Uh, those are pulsars.